Good morning and welcome to Moopsie in the Morning for September the 24th, 2024. Good morning, Rachel. I hope you're having a great day. Chris, I saw you out there, so I know you're out there. Good morning, Grass. While I drink coffee, good morning, Grass. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? <sighs> yeah. Let's see. It's what? Four or five in the morning there? Five. Five. Okay. Yeah, Chris, I'm sorry. I saw you sneaking in there. Hey, Rachel. Yeah, um, I, I decided to try and hit the 20-hour cool down. And, okay, came upstairs, turned in all of the missions I ran yesterday. Thought, I'll just go back to bed. <laughs> that didn't happen. So I've been up doing a little bit of stuff around the house. Since it's scenic Tuesday and that makes it garbage day. Ooh, how exciting. Woohoo. Oh my God, I've got nothing on this one. I've got Voth on the ground, Restore Shields on the ground, and Herc Attendance on the ground, and Kudimer Vortex. This is oh not... Oh my God, Captain's the ground. Uh, and an energy weapon ground. Oh, Man, we are being horrible today. Let's try a different account here and see if we've got something better on a different account. Uh, Chris's Kittimers and Kathy ships in the battle zone. Ugh. Salvage and phaser drugs in space. I'm happy to do Kittimer. Providing I can remember my passwords. Let's see, what does Mr. Spoimler have today? Yeah, I know it was damaged, Chris. It's just, um, when I was just glancing at it really quick, my brain went, okay, I don't know those letters off the top of my head. Let's turn them into a word. It's not dyslexia. It's, it's pattern seeking. Starfleet Command. Commissioned another historical tactical so I have a tendency to just create words. Okay, this one's got phaser damage on the ground, Iconian TFOs, and Voth ships in the Dyson Sphere. But we can certainly do Kittimer. Let me send you an invitation here, and we can go do a Kittimer. Then I'll bounce around and see what else we got today. That Kittimer's easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, Andrew, uh, Baron and I did it. Yeah, last it, night. It and takes nothing. Yeah, and pretty much it was just. You know, we we yeah uh, we did it on advance and it's like quick. Oh yeah. Pretty much if you have a team that knows what they're doing. Yeah. And halfway decent DPS. <laughs> yep, yep. At least a couple of people with halfway decent DPS. Yep. Okay, Rachel's going to join us too. She's going to switch over to her main. Okay. Oh, this is not halfway decent DPS. What is this one? Oh, actually, I take that back. This one isn't. No, not not ooh ooh. Not ew ew, we're not doing that one. There we go, Rachel has joined us. Do I want to see something cozy? Sure. What is cozy, Chris? Oh! I have seen this before. There's this uh, thing called Tiny Glade. And I've been seeing more modules coming into it. I saw a new one today. Those are adorable. Totally adorable. Came out, yes. Oh, it's a game! I didn't know that! I just thought it was somebody being totally cool. You learn something new every day. Come on, 
give me that. Thank you very much. There we go. Get a vortex. And we are queued up. Let's see what happens. No goals, no resource management, no grinding, just sheep building music, b building music, chill vibes. Oh, that's kind of nice. Wee woo? Wee wee woo. Wee woo. I might have to do that. I could use something that's just chill, Chris. After this week, after Saturday, I'm, I'm just going to take a chill day, I think. Can you create those little tiny dioramas? Oh! I, I think I saw it and assumed somebody was actually making the little dioramas. Uh, left or right first? Uh, up to you. Let's go left. Oh, I've got a Steam account, so maybe I'll do that. Iconian TFOs. What's Iconian TFO? Just out of curiosity. Gateway. Gateway and Sierra. Bug Hunt. Resistance is Maybe we can do a gateway if everybody's got their stuff down. Well, my project of the moment is getting closer to being done. Hopefully we'll be done today because I have to make sure I can get dressed by myself with it. It has a zipper in the back that's yeah, almost unreachable if you have the rest of the costume on. There's no TFO called Bug Hunt. <laughs> you just don't like Bug Hunt, Chris. Oh, Chris has got the probes, then I'll go over here and do this one. Oh yeah, the DPS does seem to help, doesn't it? Hmm. Thank goodness I didn't do this on normal, we'd be done by now. over there before grass kills everything. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> I'll just stand here and look pretty. Okay. And now, what's her name? Did I try? Her, yeah. We are picking up some distance. Is futile. There she is. Was interesting. There she is. Well, that was challenge. No, that wasn't challenging. Yay, the universal is done. Yay! <laughs> I 
So I'm sure you are remember the Ocean Gate submersible that submersed but never came back up. Well, came back up but in pieces. Uh, the one that went. I think to it was the, the Titanic. Titan. Yeah, the one that went to see the Titanic and something went horribly, horribly wrong. Yep. I've been listening to the uh, investigation that's going on with it. And the current discussion by the scientists, but not in the panel, is were they crushed or were they vaporized? Because that's so much pressure on them, way beyond the ability of a body to be able to handle it. Crushing makes sense, but because the water rushed in at such horrendous velocity, the compression of the air would have taken it to like 4,000 degrees for a split second. So it's like, good, what grisly ways to look at how to die. But as they put it, nobody suffered. It happened way too fast. Yeah, it's, but, we're, we're talking about nanoseconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. They said yeah, not as so, fast as if you were in a nuclear blast, but I in the same range. Yeah, it, pretty much it's like before the brain can even register right. what the heck's yeah. going on, yep, they're yep. dead. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and to be honest, uh, if I'm going to die, I want to die that quickly. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, you're, you're not. They, did, did they suffer? Technically speaking, yes, but the mind di didn't have enough time to know yeah, what no. the heck, what, what happened. Apparently, it happened, if they're calculating correctly, it happened first faster than the nerves could trigger. So yeah, it, no, you're here. No, you're not. It's a transporter. Would you guys like to do gateway? Sure. Does anyone ever say that they want to try a slow, painful death? No. No. But I will tell you, my husband would have taken slow and painful death over... Uh, sorry, slow and painful life over death period. I think my mom was kind of the same way up until like the last day, but... No, no, I, I can deal with it. You know, I, I'll get better. I'm not going to get better. Uh, I want to queue up Gateway. We will. We will. I, I just want to make sure everything's done. Maybe that's why I never actually finish anything, because if it's done, something bad could happen to me. But as long as I still got stuff to do, and I got a house full of stuff to do, I'm safe. Mm-hmm. And as long as I have puppies to take care of. But I can't go. I have puppies. And the Grim Reaper will be there going, Yeah, okay, I'll be back in a couple of years. I got more puppies. Okay. Can't keep getting puppies. I won't. Yet. How to avoid dying. Keep getting puppies. Still, if, if I'm going to die, going out in spectacular fashion, a la the Titan, the Challenger, what else would be a spectacular way to go? I don't know. Oh, I know, in the, in the uh, Star Trek simulation. She was playing Star Trek and you know, beamed out of here permanently. Though, honestly, I'd prefer not to... Oh, I was going to go left, but apparently I'm the only one going left. Oh. Well, fine. I will pretend to uh, know what I'm doing here. I don't feel so lonely now. Good morning, Zelda fan. How are you doing? Was there a new Zelda release recently? Or am I just losing my mind? Oh, I died. It could be both. 
Yeah, that's true. It's not exclusive. Yes, you might be paranoid, or people might really be chasing you. The star transports have entered. Okay, everybody's over there. Um, I'll go planet side on the right, if that works for you, Rachel. And how are you this morning, Zelda fan? Shipyard troop transports are beginning their run to the planet. Zelda says, been going through some depression myself, partly due to my Xbox being out of commission since July 24th or 25th. Wow, yeah, I can empathize with that. <clears throat> trying to find the sweet spot on this one. Which Xbox? Uh, one through sixty, Series X or S? I have played Xbox once. friend was playing Mario Kart and wanted me to play with him. That would have been Nintendo. Nintendo. Okay, sorry. Thank you. That thing. It's all the same to me. Actually, that's not <coughs> true. I don't know if it's Xbox or PlayStation, but I used to play uh, DDR a lot back in the day. Oh, I'll say this. Um... Uh, I know a lot of people are either PC or console fans. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, me, I'm more of the both are have their advantages, and I like both. Uh, pretty much with the consoles, that side is the is going to be more or less a fixed price. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna. You're, you're gonna have like two or three that are gonna each model. I'm saying Xbox, the current gen, Xbox, uh, PlayStation, Nintendo, whatever. Whatever gen is currently out, it's gonna be. You're, you're gonna have like one or two variations probably with it. Which means that you know that it's gonna cost you. A certain amount of money. Yeah. Also, for the game developers. Oh yeah. Uh, that side is that side for them is they know how uh, pretty much the hardware limitations. Yeah. Where, uh, for the each console, so they know that. Yeah, they, they pretty much have a box that they can work in. Which means that they, you know, they know... No, pretty much what I'm saying is they, they know what they, they can give the, the customer. 
Mm-hmm. The, the downside is... It, it, they, uh, it's the same thing as the uh, some of the outside. They they can only do so much. Yeah. PC, on the other hand, that's like to the PC for like you, you and me is hey. Oh, I I can't run game X. Yeah. Oh uh, oh, I only need tw uh, twelve more gigabytes of RAM. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, uh, that's within my... I, I can do that on, on my current hardware? Okay, good. Slap in some more RAM. Mm -hmm. I need more storage. Oh, okay. Uh, if it can be done, okay. Let me jump up here on uh, Zelda. The system error code keeps popping up. Already tried restoring the factory settings, but didn't work. Original Xbox One COD version. I assume that's Call of Duty. Technically, I have two Xbox Ones, but neither currently working. Huh. Mm. I, way back in the day, I had an acquaintance who would take your various and sundry pieces of equipment and try and put them together to make one functional unit out of it. But he actually knew what he was doing versus me. <laughs> me who does not? Uh, 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 look, it's all gobbling to you, right? Yep. I mean, the things I understand, like I could cobble together equipment for what I used to do. It's like, oh yeah, I can take this out here and put that in there, and this will go here and there, it goes there. But no, not with computers, not with toys. A herald dreadnought. So the question is, how long's the. Uh, they're not gonna last. Is the what gonna last? The the dreadnought. Oh, the, the I don't know. The big ship. We got you. We got Rachel. We got Chris. There it is, and seven seconds. I had expected better of us. But seven seconds, I think, is tolerable. Hey, at least it didn't make it... Uh, it survived to make a job. Yeah. Oh, we have two minutes to defeat the forces here. <laughs> what, what forces? Yes, I know. We have two minutes to clear the field of debris. Our troops are back. We will fight for Kronos. Thanks to your assistance. Kapla. Kapla yourself. Uh, I, th I think the Klingons would be like, that was not a challenge. <laughs> I wanted a challenge. Yep. It's like I say, threaten me with a good time. Okay, who has what? Does anybody need to do the daily? Does anybody need to do anything? I'm game to uh, whatever you guys need to do. Well, Just currently running around trying to get captains aground. Let me kick everybody and jump on the other one. Oh, yesterday I was on Nimbus for no particular reason other than I need to burn some uh, AP damage. Every single major captain dropped. Every single one. Okay, Rachel, you know you can bank your daily, right? Okay. Yeah, I've been running them way in advance. I'm going to jump to a different tune and see if I can find something. And if not, we can. I'll jump onto a tune and we can bank a daily. Let's go over there. Do that. In fact, I'll jump on that tune anyway. Ever have your brain not work? Let's see, I did this on Damo earlier. Quite a few times. I'm going through the uh, various and sundry uh, logins, passwords, usernames for all of the stuff I do. And some days my brain is just like, I don't know what that password is. 
Let's see. Um, Xbox One S refuses to even boot up. The one that original Xbox One COD version has error code E102, E102. I have captains on the ground, Voth ships in the Dyson Sphere, and Tholians on Nukara. Um, and let's see. Chris has the daily. Do you guys want to do the daily? Sounds like the HDD might have died or is on the way to. Thank you, Stargate Wars. Uh... That, that would have been a hard drive, right? Yeah. Okay. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. Rachel, do you want to join us for this or sit out? Oh, no problems. Apparently Appears the OS effed up during updating. Do we have a preference in what one we're going to do for the event? We've got Royal Flush, Battle of 359, and Resistance. Uh, I'm not partial... No, it's like, uh, I try to avoid Wolf... It, yeah, I tried it, to it, avoid Wolf 359 just because it gets boring. Any is good for me. I'm going to do Resistance then. Wee -woo. Wee -woo. I find that with enough firepower, you can kind of slam through Resistance pretty quick. Yeah. Things have disappeared. Uh, disappeared? I wonder if I power my Xbox One, I wonder if it will update correctly. Always the question. It's been unplugged for a few years. Ooh, yeah. That's a good one. On an unrelated but vaguely related note, um, what do you do with old laptops that still function, but our old laptops. Anybody have a good use for them? I used to haul one of my laptops all over the world so I could play Star Trek Online. And then somebody bought me a much lighter one, so I switched to Star Trek Online for that one. And then we had to get some for the convention, so I got one for Star Trek Online for that. I think I have four laptops currently, all capable of playing the game. 
But since I'm always home now, I don't need my laptop for playing the game. And I want to get one that's a little bit more functional so that we can start traveling the doggos and I. But I don't want to have four laptops sitting there's in the house. Oh, well, we'll I'm sure that there's always going to be uh, used to parts. Just you would me. think. Let's see. Zelda says I have no way to do an offline update because my PC that I would grab an offline update from email has a very out-of-date OS window. Oh, Windows XP. Holy moly. Yeah. Dang. XP, that's old. Yeah. I loved XP in its day, but it, it's old. Probably have to update this one to Windows 11. At some point. Which means it's probably at some point time to just do a whole new computer, so then I'll have two PCs, technically three PCs, and then the fourth one, four laptops. No, I have more computers than I have anything else. Now, uh, is yours a pre built? No. Uh, my uh, PC? Yeah. No. A uh, custom? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking this time around I would have somebody else put it together. My husband made me build this one, showed me how to do it. But that's not something I enjoyed doing. So figure out what I want for the custom and pay somebody else to put it together for me. Thank you very much. Ooh, on an unrelated note, currently dealing with an opossum in my home. Um, I'm not because I have a pit bull. And the possum in the yard between the owl and the pit bull didn't last very long. I feel really bad about that. Oh. I realize yeah. there's plenty of possums out there, but... Oh, uh, when I lived with my parents, uh, this is before I... Many, many moons ago. Uh, I've never really had an issue with the opossums due mm -hmm. to uh we the, the dogs that we've had were territorial yes say to other animals and uh i remember one time a story my mom told us uh pretty much we had an australian cattle dog say that again you had a australian cattle, cattle dog okay uh, uh, blue, blue healer. Mm-hmm. She just had puppies. Uh -huh. So, pretty much, nearly everything was, uh, except for my brothers and sisters and parents. Mm -hmm. Everything was a potential threat. Yes. And she, uh, well, she said Mama Dog cornered a potential threat a possum mm -hmm. and just started yipping up a storm and my mom went to uh, investigate and pretty much what, what went through uh, mom dog's mind was ooh uh, alpha females here oh <laughs> And uh, what is I uh, pretty much just saying, ooh, backup's here. And my mom <laughs> said, oh, I, I, she, uh, she attacked the uh, possum. I'm not going to go into details. What? No, you don't need details. Yeah, but, but I, I, I'll, I'll just say, you your imagination. No, 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 no. I'd rather get rid of the opossum with a hammer if I could... No, just don't do that. The, the thing is, at least around here, they've got wildlife services that'll come over and take care of your opossum, raccoon, whatever. 
Wow, that sphere didn't take out the Roosevelt. How amazing is that? Yeah, technically they can carry rabies. Warm-blooded mammals technically can carry rabies. Let's see, I'm going to bank this, so... First things first, I'm going to kick you guys from the team, since I have about two minutes to do this. want it want doesn't really matter competitive and leave that okay that was easy what oh, they do freak you out Oh, you are quite correct, Chris. Opossums do not carry rabies. And they specialize in destroying ticks. And you are 100% right on that one. I have learned something new today. Wow, that's kind of cool. Let's see if I've got anything else interesting to do here today. Uh, let's go there, there. Let's grab one more tune. Where are we at? 60? Oh, it's early. I think we did Carl. Let's do Bruce. Chill Possum. Very good. So, I'm, I'm just kind of pondering here. Yes. If they, or, since they came out with an option for us to X, or do an X2 on chips, will they do the same thing for bridge officers and okay. Captain. That would be cool. Uh, for, for the bridge officers, uh, you instead of doing an extra tray and kit frame, just add it where you can do a kit module. Oh, I'd love an additional kit module. No, no, I'm saying on bridge officers. Oh, whoa, I'd love kit modules on bridge officers. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 I have phaser damage and disruptor damage in space. Yay! Let me see if we've got phasers and disruptors. Keep going while I look at this up. Yeah. Uh, also, it's like uh, if they do uh, the X square thing for the uh, captain, what, what will they give us? That is a good question. I'm putting my agony facers on here. Let's see if I've got any disruptors. Okay, I'm good here. Well, I need to do some, s let's see, four tokens per Captain Buff, 150 million EC for one full upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, I think you have your answer about the hammer and the politicians. Well, to do this kind of damage, it's going to take a whole maybe second, second and a half. So do we have any preferences on what we go for? And I'll reteam everybody. I'm good. Rachel Life Sense, there we go. going to be a long day today. All right, what have we got here? What would be fun? What have we not done for a while? I mean, we could do Ketimer, but you guys already did that, and I can catch that up later. We did Breach the other day, which was fun. Let's 
Do I want to do a defensive star base one? That won't take enough. Boy, am I tired of some of these. I'd hit random, but we'd wind up with something in space. <laughs> or something on the ground, and Chris would hate me. Bughead? <laughs> Chris would be out of that so fast. We Ooh, will. Boo. Yeah, remember how we were talking how fast the compression and death was? That's how fast Chris would be out of the team. Bucket, oh, done. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> so tentatively, we will be on tomorrow morning. Thursday, don't know. Friday, don't know. Uh, we have the convention. It has a stack of things on his list, and I've got a bunch of meetings this week. So, kind of up in the air if we're doing any shows in the evening and much more after tomorrow. But then starting on Monday should be back to normal. Ooh, nice flags. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know the rules. Shoot things. After the minute and 30 second intro, shoot things. After we get back Saturday, I will start figuring out life. Uh, this is Creation Entertainment, uh, Star Trek Chicago. It's the first one that they're doing in Chicago. This year they're trying out not just the Las Vegas one, but they're throwing a bunch of local ones as well. So I think last weekend was Nashville, which I was thinking about, but real life. And this one's Chicago. Then there's one in New Jersey in a couple of weeks. And I think one in Orlando later in the year. I might go do Orlando just so I can go visit uh, Frost. Yeah, and plus, hey, uh, beaches or somewhat like that, right? <laughs> I have never gone to a beach when I've been in Orlando because every time I go to Orlando, it's for work. Oh, by the way, my uh, space damage is done. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, let's see. Uh, Zelda, what state are you in? I know JB is going. I think a couple other people from Indian Indiana are going, so... I get to hang out with JB. S MC Stu went a couple of years ago to the Mission Chicago, which was uh, Reed Pop, I think, when they did it. I'll take care too here. 
I'll go join somebody on something, because I don't have enough firepower to do it. Back from ads. How, how are you back from an ad, Zelda, when I'm still telling me I've got ads running? Anyway, Zelda, I was asking, what state are you in? Indianapolis. I think JB's up near Valpo. Well, if you want to join us, it's Friday through Sunday. I'm just going to go there for Saturday. I'm just going to drive up in the morning, spend a couple hours. I'm out by Eagle Creek. Well, I'm not in the fancy part of Eagle Creek, but... I just moved out here in March from Chicago. On and off from Chicago. That d oh, that's what we missed. Okay. Oh, 
So, a Zelda fan, being from Chicago, I am not used to people in Indiana. So, I went to Hill Goss Bakery to try out some donuts the other day, and they were doing things I just am not familiar with. They were saying please and thank you. They were polite. They were nice. It's like, what planet is this? This is so amazing. I got time for one more quick one. Um, hi, Von Slot. If you want. <laughs> well, I want more coffee. I, I mean, that's that's what I want. Oh, that, that, that's an understood. You don't <laughs> need to mention that. <laughs> type, type item. Ah, oh, here we go. Wee woo. Wee woo. Why are you shooting me? Oh. See, what I mean? I, I'm i just hearing a whole bunch of these people show up, including a random captain. Oh. Sorry, Chris. I'm, I'm sorry. I just wanted to... But, Chris, you just said you'd... I refuse to fly anything else for a while now. Excuse me. You just said you're flying that ship. How dare you? How dare you change your mind? You know how they said they're having a special guest <laughs> for the next episode? Uh, a special guest? Yeah, it's, they're going to have another voice actor. They said a special voice actor come in for the next episode that's going to be out in uh, February. For the anniversary? Yeah. The episode that was supposed to be out in September is now going to be out for the anniversary because they're still doing the conversion. Joy. That is, makes me assume it's somebody they haven't had before, and it's unlikely to be somebody like Patrick Stewart, just because I know what the money situation is for uh, DECA. What if it was Todd Stashwick? Who? Uh, Shaw. Ah. That could be fun. I mean, Esri was nice. It was fine. She was, she's a very nice person. But it wasn't like when they had uh, Kate Mulgrew do it, do uh, Janeway. That was amazing. Or Wesley, or Beverly. I mean, those were really fun. I thought this would last at least a moment longer. I don't think they can do Picard just because of the financing. He does voiceovers, but he doesn't do them for free. He doesn't even do them for cheap. Though he said he's willing to do the game. But I'm not sure how they could tie him into the episode. They haven't made any references. Your and where would he fit? Destroy this Borg Emperor? Uh, version of the Peter? Yeah, that's the only way I think they could work that in, because certainly... Board King Harry didn't wasn't even a threat. I am eternal. Not that I don't love Harry, you understand, but in terms of DPS, he was pretty easy to take down. Once you got there. Riker could be fun though. Accept the gift of assimilation. I accept your gift of assimilation. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to get going. i got a couple things to do today and a meeting in a couple of hours. So I'm going to get out of here. As I said, should be on tomorrow morning. That's the game plan. And that might be it until next week. So we will see. Well, hey, Zelda, go to Chicago for a week. Then come back and appreciate how cool Indiana is in retrospect. Just trade it in for something more valuable than assimilation. 
So thank you all for being here. I'm going to kick you all off the team so you can go off and do your thing. I will see you all tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful day. And like we say around here, stay moopsum.